Behold Idaho, land of the potato, of beautiful landscapes and wonderful cities like Boise. Okay, we'll admit it. Idaho likely isn't your preferred destination when it comes to having a vacation. But in point of fact, that's kind of the whole point. Because instead of going to the biggest cities, you should go to places like Boise, which are nice cities but have a more down-to-earth feel to them as a whole. But that begs the question, if you've never been to that part of Idaho before, where should you go and visit? We can help with that. 10. The Old Idaho Penitentiary Built in 1870 of hand-cut sandstone, the Old Idaho Penitentiary housed inmates for more than a century before reverting its status to a museum and state historic site. The Old Idaho Penitentiary, or Old Pen, includes 30 historical structures, some of which now feature educational exhibits. Visitors can tour the facility to see jail cells, the gallows, and the solitary confinement area. The Old Idaho Penitentiary also hosts events throughout the year, including paranormal investigations, cemetery tours, and a festive holiday event in October. Within the Old Penitentiary Historic District is the Idaho Botanical Garden. This nonprofit plant space has a variety of gardens in bloom throughout much of the year. 9. Capitol Building Construction began on the Capitol building in 1905 and was completed in 1920. The majority of the building was constructed of locally sourced sandstone with marble from Alaska, Georgia, Vermont, and Italy. The top of the dome has a five-foot-high statue of a golden eagle. In 2010, the building was rededicated following extensive restoration work. The building features various displays and temporary exhibits. Visitors are encouraged to tour the Capitol at their leisure during operating hours, and guided tours can be scheduled for groups of five or more. The manicured grounds of the Capitol are perfect for leisurely strolls. 8. The Boise Greenbelt The Boise Greenbelt, located along the Boise River, runs through the city center and links 850 acres of natural area and parks. The 25-mile Greenbelt offers a variety of cycling and walking paths, as well as wildlife viewing opportunities. This scenic corridor is often used for both non-motorized commuting and experiencing nature. The urban pathway also connects to other culturally significant parts of the city. The Boise State University campus and the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial are both along the path. Bikes, strollers, and inline skates are welcomed on the Greenbelt, though pedestrians always have the right of way. 7. And Frank Human Rights Memorial the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial is located in the Boise Cultural District, behind the Boise Public Library. The memorial contains more than 60 quotes from leaders and human rights figures throughout history. A bronze statue of Anne Frank is located in the attic of the memorial. The Garden of the Human Rights Memorial features trees and flowers from around the world. The memorial also has benches and stainless steel statues of human rights leaders. Boise Parks and Recreation and the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights maintain the memorial with a cooperative agreement. 6. Camel's Back Park Located on the north end of the city and at the edge of the Boise foothills, Camel's Back Park is a popular open space with a variety of things to do. Within the 11 acres of developed park, visitors can use tennis courts, playground equipment, and an outdoor gym. Picnic areas and open play areas also are popular throughout the warmer months. One of the real appeals of this city park, however, is its access to the foothills and sprawling ridge to rivers trail system. The two miles of this larger trail system within Camel's Back Park climbs up to a great view of the city. Several trails venture through the Boise foothills from Camel's Back Park, including Lower Hall's Gulch Trail, one of the best hiking trails in Boise. 5. Catherine Albertson Park Catherine Albertson Park is a 41-acre special-use park located southwest of downtown Boise. Most of the park is wetland habitat filled with wildlife, including a variety of birds. Established walking paths wind past scenic lagoons and decorative fountain. Conservation stations next to the paved walkways provide information on the surrounding flora and fauna. The park also features two large gazebos that are available for rent, which can be extremely popular come wedding season in Boise. Catherine Albertson is one of many parks linked together by the Boise River Greenbelt. Other nearby parks include the adjacent Ann Morrison Park and Julia Davis Park across the river. So yeah, you have a lot to do and can venture off just by going to this one park. And who doesn't love parks? Exactly. 4. Idaho Botanical Garden 
The Idaho Botanical Garden is located at what was once the number two yard of the Idaho State Penitentiary. Since the prison's closing through a community effort and interest in horticulture, the Idaho Botanical Garden was established and has continued to grow since its inception in 1984. The garden features 14 specialty gardens that vary from a contemporary English garden to a meditative garden, with each landscape space having a unique focus. The Botanical Garden also includes an heirloom rose garden, with more than 300 different roses in 107 varieties. Special events at the Idaho Botanical Garden include a summer solstice celebration and a scarecrow stroll in autumn. Throughout December, the botanic space is eliminated by the Winter Garden Aglow event and over 500,000 holiday lights. This is a great example of turning something small into something truly beautiful and wondrous. If you're in love with plants or want to see someone who has an actual green thumb, definitely check this out. 3. Discovery Center of Idaho Hands-on exhibits at the Discovery Center of Idaho help visitors learn about science and scientific wonders. Some of the topics displayed include electricity, sound, motion, perception, and hearing. The center is geared towards all ages, making it a good outing for children and families. The Discovery Center hosts a wide variety of events and programming, including summer camps and a young discoverers club designed for children ages three to five. The museum also hosts four adult nights each year for those 21 years and older who want unbridled access to play space. If you've been trying to get your kids into science or any aspect of STEM, then this is the place you'll want to check out, and for good reason. Heck, even if you yourself are trying to get your spark for STEM back, this is the place for you. 2. Basque Museum and Cultural Centre With a mission to preserve, promote, and perpetuate Basque heritage history, the Basque Museum and Cultural Centre displays a vast collection of artifacts and exhibits from this region. Housed in one of the few remaining examples of a Basque boarding house, the historic Cyrus Jacobs Ubaraga House. The permanent collection at the museum includes traditional music, a replica sheep wagon, and numerous historical archives. Self-guided tours are available for a low-cost admission. Guided tours can be scheduled ahead of time. The Cultural Centre also houses an impressive amount of archives and genealogy resources for those interested in research. The museum is closed on Sunday and Monday, so make note of that before you venture in, okay? Regardless though, this is a great spot if you want to learn about the history of the state and the area. There's so much you can learn, and it just might inspire you to learn more about the areas that you yourself are from. 1. Bogus Basin Recreation Area Located less than 20 miles from downtown Boise, Bogus Basin is a great year-round recreation area. In the winter, the hill is a non-profit ski area that is popular with locals. Seven chairlifts and four conveyor lifts access 2,600 acres of skiable terrain. The mountain also provides groomed Nordic tracks and an 800-foot tubing chute. During the summer months, Bogus Basin becomes a wonderful area for hiking and downhill mountain biking with a comprehensive trail system. The popular Around the Mountain Trail offers a beautiful view of the landscape. Yurts are available to rent, and live music can be found on the mountain every weekend in the summer. So that right there is a perfect way to spend your time in Boise. After all, you can have fun in the summer, in the winter, and do all sorts of things that are both entertaining and recreational. And here, you thought there wasn't anything good to do in Boise. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Boise, Idaho, and how there are plenty of things to do there if you were to visit? Did any of these places seem particularly striking to you in terms of wanting to take a visit? Do you feel that there are other places to go in Boise or in Idaho that people should go and take a look at? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.